Hello and welcome to the Tar Pamlico. It's the sixth tournament for the 2017 Green Marine Bass Trail. It's the last and qualifying tournament for the year. Those fishing today are hoping to get into our end of the year classic and it's their last chance to do so. It's a beautiful day, 83 degrees, nice and sunny. These guys should really catch some fish today.
Trey Nanny and David Swain, boat number 41. They have five fish all alive. Okay, before I start talking about the prizes and, and uh, who weighed in what today, I do want to mention our sponsor for the day, Lee Chevrolet. They're right here in Washington. Uh, they gave us $12.50 for the two tournaments we had down here, which was $2,500 total. Uh, that was a mighty nice thing of these guys to do. I am a customer of theirs. I, I think I bought eight vehicles from Lee, and I can testify to the fact that I have priced Chevrolets all over this eastern part of the, uh, North Carolina and they always beat everybody's prices so at least if you would if you get ready to buy a Chevrolet or interested in a new truck or car go by and see these guys and see if they can't give you a good deal on one. Alright we had 45 boats that paid today I actually had 36 fishing uh, with the big fish and the lead bonus money the total payout today was $48.50 paying one place for every six, uh, seven boats so that means we're paying six places today just like last month because we had 45 boats then. Uh, in the classic purse right now, we have $8,640, and with the $175 you're going to pay to get into classic, um, that's going to put the total just a hair over $14,000. That'll be a good purse, and with roughly 35 boats, we'll pay 10 places, so you've got about a one in three chance to win the check in the classic, so don't miss that. Uh, plus, we have a lot of great pi prizes we're going to give away in classic. I've got seven dial reels. I've got two $450 rain suits, I've got some rods, and I've got a bunch of other stuff. I just so much of it, I can't remember all of it. So you don't want to miss that. So at least show up, fish it, and have a chance at a door prize. Okay, with the big fish today of a six pound, even large mouth, they get a check for $450, Gerald Elks and Larry Thomas. Congratulations. Yeah, you got a little something anyway. All right, in sixth place with five fish that weighed 1461, they get a check for 185. Steve Bishop and Robin Bowen. There you go. Congratulations, sir. Good job.
Fifth place with five fish that weighed $14.75. They get a check for $250. Clayton Boyette and Fred Stansel. Congratulations, boom. There you go. Fourth place with five fish that weighed $15.55. Fourth gets $380. Trey Nanny and David Swain. Good job. Keep it rolling. Man. Third place with five fish that weighed 15.73. I thought these guys were new shriver boys, but I guess not. Third place gets a check for $500. Justin Everett and Lance Murray. Good job. Now, if you'll notice, these last two are fishing by themselves. I just want to bring that up. Second place. Five fish that weighed sixteen sixty four. He gives a check all to himself for six hundred and sixty dollars. Tom Warner. Way to go, brother. Good job. Way to go. There you go. Thank you. In first place, very decisively, five fish that weighed nineteen point seventy three pounds all by itself. First place pays out $1,175, and Lee Chevrolet is giving him a bonus check for $1,250. Mr. Dan Leggett. <laughs> Woo! Congratulations, sir. Good job. There you go, trophy. And not one. Already. But two checks over $1,000. Way to go. Yes, I'll go spend it at your place. All right, that'd be good. <laughs> Y'all heard him. <laughs> okay, I'm here with second place winner Tom Warner. Tom, I know you're not a stranger to the tar and pamico and the noose, which is just right around the corner. You had a really good day today. Five fish that weighed 16.63. That's a really good bag of fish for around here. Uh, and no partner, did it all by yourself. That's even yes, more commendable. Did a very yes, good sir. job. Yes, sir. Um, tell the listeners maybe just some kind of pattern you did today. Was there any secret to what you did today? Was it business as usual? Was it something you're used to or something different? Well, I got started off this morning real quick. First half hour, I caught my limit, got into a school, and uh, caught them all on top water, and then then was able to call some fish throughout the day fishing plastics, but uh, nothing, you know, luck lucky to get into a school first thing sound like you were just in the right area with yeah, the right it was bait. it was yeah there was a bunch of fish in there too so they were all schooled up and as soon as the bait dropped in there they were on it so well how so, many fish total do you think you told uh, i probably caught 25 today i imagine mm -hmm. cold quite a few times yeah, that's a good day on the water yeah, no, you did have 16 a lot, a lot of a lot of fun a yeah. whole lot of fun so. well great congratulations yeah. a good right. job i appreciate right. you thank you jeff thank you thank you Okay, I'm here with today's winner, Dan Leggett. He had an outstanding bag of five bass that weighed 19.73 pounds. That is a big bag for the tar and pamico. But Danny, I've been knowing you for a long time. You've been fishing the tar and pamico as long as I can remember, and so have I, and you've always done well down here. 
Now you caught a bunch of fish today, I'm sure, and probably cold quite a few times to get those fish. Was this was this an unusual day for you? Something different, or was it something that you just a pattern you depend on throughout throughout the year? Well, uh, it's a pattern that you use about twice a year, and uh, gotcha. and uh, we we don't go beat these fish up. We just save them for special tournaments and stuff. And, uh, for big tournaments, but a lot of money yeah, we hope. Yeah, right? Well, I hope so. Yeah, and. Yeah. Uh, and the way the weather conditions were, you know, you you, uh, you only got two or three options, and a couple of options didn't work on practice days. So you try to try you try to the last thing you try to do is the thing you hope works the most, and it, it worked today. And, right. And, uh, Sounds like you had your pattern already figured out, and you were yeah. just waiting for that right time to roll yeah. around where you could use it. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, the weather was the weather yesterday is what made me go do what I did today, and. Uh, and I knew it was going to be tough up here, especially Tar River, because any time you got water backing in like it did today, it uh, it kills the fishing down here. And, right. Uh, so I just went and fished a what I call a mud hole, and uh, and it worked. <laughs> well, you had 19 pounds. You had five fish, almost the same size. You didn't have anything over five, but you had a lot of really nice four-pound fish. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming you culled quite a bit today. Yeah, I probably caught I probably caught uh, 35 fish. That's a good deal. Yep. Would you be willing to tell us your number one bait you used today? Actually, I had been catching fish on, on, on buzz baits. And I threw a buzz bait today probably for an hour, had three bites, and uh, I just put it down and started started throwing my trusty spinner baits. And, uh, and once the, I, I threw a spinner bait probably five times and caught a three, three, three and a half pound fish. And uh, that just kind of set the tone for the rest of the day. I put all the other stuff up and threw spinner baits the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like we fished old favorites today and yes, it paid sir. off. Yep. Well, good deal, Danny. Congratulations yes, again. Sir. You did a great job, man. Thank First you. place fish. I guess it's a good deal. Yes, That wraps it up for our last qualifying tournament for the 2017 season. It was the last chance for these guys to get in our classic tournament, our end of the year big tournament, large payouts. Gonna be a lot of money for these guys we fished for. They'll be on the Roanoke River. Wow, Dan Legger had 1973 today, a big bag of fish with a tar. He's headed to the classic. I can't wait.